Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. No one to talk to here. Well, maybe a bit of dialogue with Shall Run. Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Chorus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Nothing to talk with uh, Vitali or Legion, so I'm just gonna go to the CIC, then see with Garrus, Liara. more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted Unread in messages at your private terminal, Commander. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Man, watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stun fires in formation. Creepy stunt flyers, whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Corians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep you safe from the Geth, and themselves. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce- Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Yes. Very, very funny. Udina did that. Thank you for taking care of that situation. I spoke to my brother, and he's fine. If it weren't for the Citadel broadcasts, he wouldn't have even known it was happening. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness. As was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. Let's simmer down, you two. I am surprised we have allowed an unknown, unproven party to access our war plan, Shepard. Edie, he spent more time fighting Reapers than any of us have. He has nothing to prove. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. 
The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. Very well. I agree with the notion AI life is not real life. Hey, that doesn't mean I agree with wiping out the gaff. I find what? using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grab. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Dad, I'm glad we could help those quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Damn it. Not right now. I, I regret interrupting his dialogue there. Oh well. It just happened. I guess he was talking with his dad or something. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J-Squad? Black Ops? They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, near Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. How's everything lining up? <laughs> Ask me later, once I'm drunk. Yeah, everything's going well, actually. All things considered. Nothing to report, Commander. Ship him. My board is green. Breaking now. A nightmare on Earth. Human leaders using military force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can. The battle space. Has Alenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. He's just like that in general. Not sure if he's had media training, but he's a steady guy. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. He's got you there. It's gotta be. Point out, he's got you there. I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kodiak. All you did was drop them off and bugger out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time, and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. It sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. Hey. Hey. 
Hey to you too, Vega. All right, Citadel. Let's see that jamming tech. Still stuff to do, obviously. Shut down the... Ah, you know what? I actually can wait. So, um... We can shut down the Geth server. And... Yeah, that should, uh... That should be good. Alright, Kosti and Sanyot. <laughs>